I was taking lessons when I was a kid, and uh, my teacher started showing me scales and, of course, chords. And at a certain point, I'd get a little cheap tape a cassette recorder, and I'd just start making up like chord progressions, maybe simple things like C major 7th to D minor 7th. <laughs> And I'd practice my C major scale. And that's how I learned to improvise, and it's how I learned my scales, and it's how I came up with a lot of different licks. And I found that for whatever reason, when I'd uh, make a chord progression, even if it was only two chords, you know, sometimes it could be four or whatever, but I'd always have an A and a B section. So I'd maybe, as a B section, go to F major seventh. E minor 7th. And then maybe end it and go back to the first progression again. So from a very early age, and I don't know the reason why, but I was a very A, B guy, like two parts. Probably because I couldn't remember any more than that. <laughs> and I'd just record it, and I'd solo over it, you know, and then I'd come up with like a second rhythm and record that and before long on my little cassette i had maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes worth of different progressions and i just hit play every day and just improvise over those progressions you know and that was kind of a big part of my practice just improvising and there were times where i also put on the radio and i would just like improvise with songs on the radio as well but anyway, I think that early thing of, you know, those chord progressions kind of developed into songwriting at a certain point, you know. It's